today's title is Termites and What's Inside the Termite Nest. <laughs> termites have a highly socialized structure compared to all the other organisms. It's the oldest society on Earth, over 150 million years old. The scene is a typical scene on the East African plains, such as the Serengeti, where there's a lot of dried grasses, impala, giraffes, lions, all the familiar kinds of animals that you see on the savannah are there. A very typical aspect of the landscape in that habitat are termite mounds. It looks like a small city with mounds of these termites sticking up all over the savannah. And they look like big, gigantic mounds of dirt. It is, to some extent, dirt, but a large part of it is actually composed of the fecal matter of the termites. These mounds are interesting because a lot of people think that the termites live in the mounds. They don't. They're actually chimneys, and the nest itself is just below ground at the base of the mound. The way these mounds function is that there are little holes so that air currents ventilate the nest that's underground. Their sociality is by far the most awesome thing about termites. There is a strict hierarchy in these colonies. There's a worker caste, there are soldier castes, and there are reproductives, and a very strict division of labor. The thing that distinguishes termites from, say, ants and other kinds of social insects is that um, they have a very, very profound difference, a structural difference, an anatomical difference between the different castes. Inside of a termite mound, a queen can live what is thought to be 10, perhaps even 20 years, which is exceptional for an insect. And they're thought to be the most fecund insects in the world producing tens of millions of eggs. This is one of the largest queen ever reported. It is about 101 uh, millimeters, close to about 10 centimeters long. The head is very tidy, as you can see. She's like an egg-laying machine. And of course you have males, they're winged, and when they're ready to mate, They'll take off into a swarm, a mating flight, and mate with a female. When she's mated, she'll drop to the ground and start her own colony. The soldiers are so morphologically constructed, they can defend the colony. They have long biting mandibles, and the enemies are ants. And they can chop off the ant's body or head. And some of them have developed uh, snouts or a squirt gun apparatus where they can squirt a sticky liquid and gum up the enemy. The workers are the ones that do all the household duties, grooming, collecting food, feeding the young ones, communicating, keeping the place clean, there are millions of termites in the mound, close to two million individuals. Some people will only think of termites as being destructive, doing damages to their house, but this is not true. Only 10% of the species in the world are destructive, but the remaining are very useful. They play a very important role in the sense that they convert cellulose. That's wood, cotton, dung, grasses, and recycle it back into the element, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. Very few organisms 
collect and recycle cellulose and red wood with that sense to say they play a very important role in the ecosystem. Without termites, the trees will still be standing.